at a memorable press conference in 1984, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Margaret Heckler, predicted that an effective AIDS vaccine would be available within two years. Uh, we're still waiting. David, I, I want to ask you, why has it been so hard to create an effective vaccine? Well, first of all, we always make fun of that statement of Margaret Heckler's, but she had history on her side. Uh, when we discovered that a disease was a viral disease, we usually knew how to make a vaccine. And vaccines came along pretty quickly once, once we figured out how to make them. Um, and so we have vaccines today for mumps and measles and smallpox and chickenpox. And so some of us suspected that this wasn't going to be true for HIV. And the reason was because HIV is a chronic disease that the immune system can't control. If the immune system could control it, then we wouldn't have the problem we have. And that one fact led us to be suspicious that when you tried to make a vaccine, you were going to discover that the virus had already figured out how to be resistant to the vaccine. And that turned out to be true. And so this virus, and it's not uniquely true of this virus, but, but there are very few like it, um, has figured out a whole variety of fascinating ways. I mean, from a scientist's point of view, it's amazing to see what's evolved. Uh, to counter the immune system, to not be sensitive to antibodies, to not be sensitive enough to T cell immunity so that T cell immunity can be used to protect against it. And so we have been unable to make a vaccine. Uh, and we have now seen fairly large-scale clinical testing of a number of vaccine candidates at phase three, which is when you really look for efficacy, and they have all largely failed. One was partly successful, and we're still trying to understand exactly why that was true, yeah. and to see whether we can learn something from that that'll lead us forward.